Hello guys, uh, this is David. I'm here to make a uh, um, couple of tutorials about Jitter OpenGL video processing. Um, the motivation behind this is that uh, I don't think there's enough uh, material for training uh, Macs and videos. So I have learned along the way um, some very basic and some advanced techniques that I intend to share with you. Um, so just let get started. And um, since the focus of these uh, tutorials is um, OpenGL video processing, we we're, we're gonna need a JIT that world object. So uh, this is the first JIT that world. Um, this will give us a window and a drawing context. Mm, the name I choose is VideoGL, very obvious. Um, and I like to include a couple of attributes um, to set a couple of parameters. S then we have um, visible zero. I don't want it to be uh, to have the window on the way all the time. Um, Floating, I, I want. I like my windows floating to watch uh, whenever I want. Um, I reduce the frames per second to 30 since um, most webcams cannot go uh, beyond 30 frames per second, and that's unnecessary CPU or, and GPU power you're using. So uh, the default is 60, and I'm doing 30. Uh, next, um, I want. Uh, I don't want to watch uh, the the menu the, when we were in full screen. So you remove that with with this um, flag FS menu bar zero. And um, this is our basic um, world setup. Uh, next, I like to include um, well the messages so we can. Uh, manipulate this uh, world. So the first I want to make it visible again. Um, next, um, well, we, we'll link that to a key. So the object key will give us an ASCII number. Yeah, with um, yeah, with its number. So we, you can watch that. This is very basic. It's it's covered in the tutorials. Um, I like to use uh, 96 since it's in most uh, laptops and um, that is the, the actually the tilde key so we use that and then we connect it to a toggle um, since you're watching this you, you should know that this is a uh, variable yeah like a dollar sign and, and one is, is variable one and this is this will toggle our our window so this is me pressing 96 oh, sorry on that the tilde key in um, I I like to have uh, linked my visibility with um, with the um, turning on the, the rendering in the in my world so there we go. Uh, next, um, I know this is uh, hard coded in um, Jitter. I'm sorry, in Max Seven, so I can do Escape, and we have a full window, uh, full screen. Sorry, but I like uh, to hide the the cursor, the mouse. Um, then, so we can do this with the typical twenty seven which is my escape key um, connected to the toggle and then we have a full screen dollar sign one um, since we're doing this I can hide the, the cursor or the mouse whenever um, we have full screen window uh, we we do that um, 
by sending a message to Max with a semicolon Max and its parameter. So height cursor, sorry, height cursor. Um, and then we have show cursor. Um, and we can like toggle that with a cell one. This will output the cell object outputs um, a bang when this condition is true and when this is false it, it will output uh, a dump over the right outlet so this will hide um, the mouse or the cursor when it's uh, full screen um, I also like to have um, a send with the um, when this is on and off, so I can like toggle stuff when the uh, world is active and rendering, and when it's when it isn't. And I will also like to encapsulate that into a patcher. Uh, let's call this window logic. Mm, since we're doing what? Um, well, I. I really like to color code my patches um, with uh, just blue. You can pick your own, but it's a good idea to get organized since um, max patches when you have really complex projects can become really crowded and very difficult to understand and see. So I color code my all my patches and my scents, and this is it. Um, well, this is our basic um, world, like the Windows and drawing context setup. Um, I really like to to create a snippet with that, um, so we can recall it and we don't have to code that all the time. So the way to do that is just uh, save a snippet, and we can say uh, video GL world sorry world and the next time we can we want uh, just a uh, jit world for for drawing for for video we can come from here paste from user snippets and it's here via via jill world and we have it done already um next uh since we're doing video processing and we're gonna have a jit.grab, just a regular video cam. So uh, yeah, we need a jit.grab, and um, the way you do a the way you output a video a webcam video with uh, OpenGL is you give these parameters, which is draw to. It's the name of our rendering context. So it's video, video GL, and then you use this flag, output texture one. Um, there's also an optimization, um, since we don't have um, um, an alpha channel, so UI, VY, this is um, a different um, color setting, color approach, uh, I can uh, set a link in the description so you can read the Wikipedia article about that. Um, yeah, so we have that, and we turn that on and off with um, we can with a message, uh, so it opens the 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 grabber, which which is our webcam. So open and close. Close will stop grabbing um, the webcam, and I, I'll, as you have seen, I, I like automation. Just pressing one key and it everything turns on. So this is why I have this send on and off. Let's turn it into a receive. So when it we have we're drawing the and the camera. Uh, turn starts grabbing uh, frames so 
and this is true which means once it will output on the left and will open and this is uh, false it will close it um, um, the next thing we really do that, that is always the last chain uh, it's a video plane um, a video plane uh, it's this um, sorry jit.gl that video plane is this uh, flying square in 3d space that will output um, our video so um, yeah you can watch that with a gel that handle you can move it around around and yeah it's it's it could be useful for pro some projection mapping maybe later but um, yeah let, let's take a look at that um, we're doing this And there we go hello <laughs> this is kind of me but later I, I will show you this is really isn't me is my evil twin it's flipped um, so we have this this is um, our flying square but uh, we don't really want that we want it to be a full screen and and we can use uh, um, do that with a transform reset um, attribute transform reset and two this is the the feed to the window that we want and there is um, well this is our very very basic um, drawing of our webcam um, these tutorials are intended uh, for like grabbing the like recording a band and manipulating effects live um, I have a project of mine with uh, some friends and um, I will show you some cool effects that you can do with that um, so uh, this is our very basic setup I hope you enjoy it uh, next the next tutorial we're gonna be um, like flipping our image since um, you, you saw uh, this is like I told you this is not me actually this is my right hand uh, and it's on your left so that is not right <laughs> uh, that's it see you guys